Hola, as I say in Mexico, right? We're here in Pablo Benito Pacifica. This is the last day. We've been here for 14 days. Um, it's broken into a couple of sets of resorts. So right at the very, very top, you have um, the... Monte Cristo. Monte sunset. Cristo, that's it, Monte Cristo. Then you've got the uh, Sunset. Um, sunset is more sort of family. Monte Cristo is, they've got one restaurant which is really, really nice. We've had Phillips Steak Cup there, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, at Pacifica, you get the golden wristband, which basically means you can um, go through all the hotels. So over on, down towards Los Cabos, you also have um, the uh, Rosa, and we also have Blanco. So you can go and use those restaurants as well. Down in Blanco, I've not been down there, but apparently on a barbecue right on the beach, you can have a snapper right from the sea, which is actually really, really nice. Um, each resort itself has its own selections of restaurants. The Pacifica is predominantly, um, I suppose you'd call it deluxe cuisine, really, isn't it? It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's better than average. The food is absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a quick wander around and show you uh, the actual resort itself. Um, start with the pool area, the beach, um, a couple of restaurants, and then we're going to head our way up towards sunset, and I'll show you the sunset. Um, and yeah, give you some sort of idea exactly what the resort's all about. It is an absolutely amazing place, the weather's been fantastic. I went fishing, which I'm going to post some videos over the next couple of days. Um, I caught, uh, crikey, I caught, oh, I caught Dorado, I caught Rooster, I caught Pinfish, and I caught 125 pound Marlin, so you get to see me fight that big boy. Um, but for now, yeah, I'm going to wander you around the, uh, around the actual hotel itself and show you exactly what it has to offer. So yeah, come with me. So here we have the um, hot tub, which is uh, where we, we predominantly hang out here most of the day. It's so warm. You've got these like, sort of like wind breaks. So the wind breaks, um, if it's a breezy day, because obviously we're right on the coast, the wind does roar through here. You can sit around here and the wind never ever comes in. So it's nice and hot and you haven't got to worry about getting blasted by the wind. We've then got um, the pool here and the pool bar, which I'll take you a wander around through. We've got a pool over there, but I'll come to that in a second. So just by here, we've got the um, main sort of swimming pool for Pacifica. Um, the water's a bit cooler in this one. The pool over there is a bit warm. Over at sunset, they um, really, really heat the pool, so the pool's really, really, really warm. So it gives you a bit of an idea of the actual layout. These are all the um, buildings, the sort of apartments. So you can see exactly what it's all about. This is where you guys stay. We're staying over towards the far side on the sort of ground floor. But you can request um, a higher one. We actually look out at the sea. So if you get a sea view, one thing about this place, especially this time of year, is there's a lot of humpback whales and grey whales. And we've been basically watching the whales over the past couple of days. It's absolutely amazing. You can see them breaching and jumping out there. Again, I've got some videos to that, which I'll post a little bit later. You've got your barley beds, which you can kind of just hang out in. They're like 40 bucks a day. But if that's what you like, then yeah, you can come and relax on the beach. All usual games, volleyball, the whole thing. This is the bar, one of the bars. And you can have pretty much any drink you like here, apart from the really expensive like um, tequilas and their expensive whiskies. But everything else is all inclusive. So uh, if you like to party, it's the place to come and hang out. It's the big man. So yeah, so this is around here. Again, the, the, the finish of this place is absolutely amazing. Even the loos are absolutely gorgeous. They've really not cut any corners. It's so beautiful. And the ambience is sort of second to none. I want to say a quick skip across here because what we've got here is um, it's called the sort of fire pits. In the evening, you can come and hang out, get yourself a, a cocktail. And uh, over there, you see where the, where the gray seats are. They've got fire pits there. But also, here's the fire pits. This is all sheltered as well. Um, so, when you get the wind coming, you can sit here and watch the whales jump in. Now we have here, this is the peninsula, which is predominantly again, mainly fish I think. Um, we can get your other meats and but they, they, they do kind of sort of specialise in fish here. So if you like your fish and you're into fish, this is definitely a place to come. So this is the peninsula. So let's take a wander down here. We'll head down towards the other restaurant. As you can see by the surroundings here as well, it's absolutely gorgeous. You've got all your cactuses, and the, the, the kind of feel they've kind of really tried to go for is um, that whole Mexican desert kind of feel, and it really, really works. And the other bonus, if you get sunburnt, everywhere is aloe vera. It's pretty much throughout the entire place. So much you're exposed to, you can maybe sneak yourself a little piece, because everyone knows aloe vera is absolutely amazing for uh, sunburn. This is a bit more of a better view of the uh, pool. 
you've got the, uh, so I'm going to zoom in a bit, you've got the uh, pool bar there, it just kind of hangs out and gets a, gets their cocktails and stuff for the day. And as you can see, it's, it's so quiet here, because it's adults only, you don't have any kids running around and screaming around, I mean, I've got an 11 year old daughter, um, but uh, when you come away it's nice to, well I find it, it's, it's nice to relax and uh, you haven't got the kids nipping at your heels, you can have an ice cream, you can have an ice cream, you can have a drink, you can have a coke, you can have an ice cream, so yeah you haven't got that. Sunset you have, Sunset was a lot more family orientated and um, the food court up there, the marketplace, is quite nice. Um, it's supposed to be done like the Harrods food court but I'll take you up and show you that in a bit. But as you can see, their attention to detail is absolutely amazing. So we're just going to take a wander up here and I'll show you the uh, the other restaurant. And it's called the um, Semper, I think it's called. Is it Semper? No, the Semper is the Mediterranean. Pisca, Piscalia, I think, is the uh, Japanese. They do the most amazing sushi. So if you're into your sushi, your sushimi, then uh, you're in you're in luck because they kind of specialise in it. And be, being so close to the to the ocean in Cabo, those that know Cabo, one of the main reasons I came here is the fishing is absolutely ridiculous. Some of the best best fishing around. So there's a plethora of. Uh, that's a big word for today. There's a plethora of um, different types of fish, like you've got a lot of um, yellowtail. Um, at the moment, yellowfin tuna's in. So there's a lot of yellowfin tuna around. Um, of course, the Dorado, Mahi Mahi. Um, a lot of snapper, garupa. But at the moment, the fish of the day, all the time, seems to be sea bass. So I'm just gonna take you and have a quick quick look at this now, quickly. Siempa. Let's have a look inside. And as you can see, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful place, so nice inside. One of our favourite places to eat is the uh, little Japanese restaurant, um, they do the most amazing teppanyaki. And again it's uh, all inclusive so because I'm a bit of a glutton I tend to have a couple of portions, why not, you're on vacation. That's our room up there. So the rooms are beautiful. It's Pescados, that's it, there you are. This is where we come in the evening. It's like a, a Japanese style restaurant. And the food here is absolutely amazing, so good. So yeah, I'm gonna take you for a wander up now and we'll take a look at the uh, the foyer and then we're going to catch. The other thing we have to do here is because the um, sunset's probably about a, a four minute drive, five minute drive from the actual hotel, um, we catch their little uh, little transportation so you can go and they'll pick you up and drop you up there. They come every sort of three or four minutes so you haven't got to wait very very long. Ignore the same trip advisor, you haven't got to wait long for them. But all these cactuses around the whole place are so cool. And for us Brits that come over to the country like this, this is such a a rarity. So cool, I'm going to put you guys on pause and we'll check back in a second. We're up by the foyer. See you in a second. So this is where the spa is, from what I gather. We've actually been down here. So uh, let's take a quick look. Not sure if it's open at the moment. That's closed. But yeah, they've got a beautiful spa. The spa is absolutely stunning. Really posh. But well, this is where the foyer is. What we'll do, we'll just take a quick wander up now to the uh, to the lobby. The lobby's gorgeous. When we arrived here, because it's Christmas, just after Christmas, they had a huge Christmas tree um, and all the Christmas decorations. Still playing Christmas music, which is really odd. It's like the sort of second or third of January. Temperature is like 28 degrees, 27 degrees centigrade, and uh, they're playing jingle bells. Random. So cool. We go upstairs now. And we'll find the lobby. I mean, what we also saw, which I forgot to mention, on the, on, on the beach, we're going to post a video later, is um, loads of little turtles. I was taking a walk along the beach to go fishing, and uh, yeah, we saw uh, loads and loads of these little turtles. Oh, this is really cool as well. They have they grow their own uh, salads and fruits and veg and mint, and they tend to grow everything down there themselves. Very, very self-sufficient. And what I can't touch on enough is how clean this place is. 
looked absolutely ridiculously spotless. I've never seen a hotel that's prides itself on cleanliness so much. Which again, is really, really important. So I'm just gonna take you down and show you the, uh, the lobby. So this is the lobby here. Check this out. And how beautiful is that? As lobbies go, let's just give you a quick look at the view. When you arrive, you kind of wander down here, you kind of head out, and this is what greets you when you actually arrive to the actual resort. And this is kind of spectacular. So you walk out in the lobby, you get your key, and you walk out, and this is what you see. That is a view and a half. Absolutely beautiful. So again, right, we're now going to take our transportation. We should catch up the front here. The guys are really, really nice and so friendly. I mean, everyone here is really, really friendly. So yeah, our transportation will take us up to the sunset. We're going to get some lunch. And I will pause for now. We'll catch you back in a second.